Let's take a look at how to use the shape builder to make more complex shapes out of nice simple shapes. So I have uh, several objects here and I'm going to turn this shape into one solid shape here. You can see it's made out of three circles. If I were to try and put a fill on that or a stroke on that it would look still like three circles. If I'm going to select all three and then I can go to the shape builder tool. It's this tool right here. Um, Shift M is the shortcut for it. So I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to draw a line around all of those little sections that pop up and it combines that all together. So the shape builder combines shapes by default, um, but there will be times that you also need to cut shapes out. So if I grab this O looking shape, if I put that over top of the Mickey Mouse ears I made, you can see that there's no hole cut out of that O. So what I can do here is again select them both and go back to my shape builder and this time I'm going to hold down alt or option on my keyboard and you can see my cursor has changed to a minus. So I click on it and that part is now gone. Go back to my move tool and move that over and you can see now that is a hole that's been cut out. So um, I can take a shape like this as well and use it to create a sort of a moon shape. So you can see that that sort of shape is right here. I'm again going to select them both, shape builder, I hold down Alter Option to both click out that inside part and this outside part. And I'm left with this sort of moon shape here. Okay, Maybe I want to cut out the mouth off of this kind of scary looking thing I've made here. So again, Shape Builder, hold down Alt, and I'm clipping off both of those sections to be left with this sort of uh, nice and easy shape. Um, I've also pulled on a Green Bay, Green Bay Packers logo here and I've drawn a couple of initial shapes on here. Um, this can be pretty easily, the G can be made pretty easily using what I just showed in the shape builder. So let me draw this inside oval. I've already got the outside oval drawn. I'll use the no fill to make it easier to see. Um, and so I can go ahead, actually I will go ahead and fill those. I'm going to shape builder out the middle. Okay. And then I can see that, you know, there's that part in here, this, this sort of section that's coming in here. And also I still need that sort of cutout section. So let me build the cutout section with a rectangle. Okay. And again, select them both. Shift M for my shape builder, hold down Alt or option to cut out that section. okay, And then I want to add this sort of tongue coming in for the G, so I'm going to draw that. I know I'm a little bit off of the original, but I'm going to draw that back to my Shape Builder, Shift M, and draw a line through all the things I want to combine together. Oops, I forgot to actually select everything first. Okay, now again Shift M, draw my lines together, and it becomes you know sort of this letter shape by itself like that. So that's how we use the shape builder in order to create uh, more complex shapes using basic shapes.